Hey, so glad you're here today. We're getting ready to stand before Jesus. He's preparing us for his return, which helps us to know that since that's all he's talking about, that the time is soon for him to be here. So we have to hurry up and get it together. Let's acknowledge him, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you so much that you're showing us things to come, that you're preparing us to stand before you, to stand before you where you can say, well done, thy good and faithful servant, so we can look like that beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. We love you and praise you and give you all the glory. So what Jesus is talking to me today about is our relationship with him is sometimes we're just so standoffish, like, you know, a no-strings-attached relationship where we just want him to do all this stuff for us, but we're just oblivious to the fact that he wants us to do something for him. In fact, he said, freely you have received, freely give. He's asking us to be a part of his life, to care about what he cares about, to think about what he might be thinking about. We're talking about having this intense relationship with him where we can know what he's thinking and what he's feeling, where he can be our best friend. And today, he's still talking about that. He said, so much of the time, as I said, is we want this relationship with him where we're only willing to receive and not give. And in his coming, coming, he is desperate for us to go for him because it's not his will that one should perish. I want to read this to you in Matthew 5, 48, um, 5, Matthew 10, 5 through 8. Jesus sent out the 12, charging them, go nowhere among the Gentiles and do not go into the town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, Cleanse the lepers, drive out demons, freely without pay you have received, freely without charge, give. That's what Jesus is saying to us today. He's freely given to us. He's laid down his life for us. He didn't ask for anything in return. And really today he's not either. He's saying, I gave you life. What will you do with it? Will you give it back to him? Will you care about what he cares about? He is grieving. He is grieving. He's long-suffering. Because we're oblivious to this fact that he needs us to go and do as well. And he knows we think we're not good enough, and, and we've, we've been rejected and put down, and, and, and there's so many rules that seem to have to be followed, but he's just calling you. If you want to give your life back to him, he's saying, amazing, I need you to go for me. Anyone, he said, if anyone believes, he's going to go and do what I was doing. He's going to go do what I was doing. And it's him, he empowers you. It's not those in the world that accept you. In fact, they're not going to accept you. So he's saying, so deeply from his heart today, I gave you life. What are you going to do with it? Are we going to continue this no strings attached relationship? I love you, Jesus. As long as I don't have to do anything, as long as I don't have to do any works, Or are we going to say, I love you, Jesus, I care about what you care about. Send me out. I'm going to do whatever you want me to do. I'm laying down my life, my agenda, for whatever you want. I'm giving it all up like you did. He said, no one can be his disciple unless he's willing to lay down his life. And so he's just making us He's making you totally aware of the fact that you've been given life and what you do is up to you. And there are no strings attached. You get to make the choice. And if you choose him, 
then as we know, love is the most important commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And then love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus sent out the twelve, charging them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and do not go into the town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep. He's asking us to go to the lost sheep. Time is short. He's about to come. It's not his will that one should perish. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. What have you received from Jesus? What have we received from him? Life to the full. He's done so much for you and you know it. And he hasn't asked anything from you. It's all, will you? You don't have to, but will you? Will you freely give your life for me? And stop worrying about your circumstances and just trust me? Can you do that? I'm going to do that. I'm going to recommit. Help me, Jesus, to get all this stuff out of the way that's in my way of serving you to the fullest. I care about what you care about. All this stuff is about to take place, and the world is oblivious to what's going to happen. But we know and we're keeping it under our hat. We're not telling anyone because we don't want to be persecuted because we care about what they think of us. And that's really silly because we're not standing before them that day. We're standing before Jesus. So I just want to encourage you, spend more time with him so you can hear him, so you can feel his presence, so you can hear him talk to you and tell you where he wants you to go. Just like he sent out the 12, he's going to send out you, and they didn't have degrees. They were anointed. And he wants to anoint you to go, to go for him, to do his work. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you and praise you for choosing us. We know that you said you would come and live on the inside of us if we heed your voice. And we want to heed your voice. We want to grow up so you can send us out. Recreate us in your likeness, Lord. Send us where you need us to go. Strengthen us, Lord. We want to care about what you care about. Show us how to get there, Lord. We can't do anything without you. Praise you, Jesus. He's so wonderful. Don't you want to do for him? Don't you want to go for him? There's so many rewards. You don't have to work at a job for money and try to take care of yourself. You don't have to do that. He's just going to take care of you because you love him. You care about what he cares about. Thank you so much for listening today. God bless you.